All right, hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today, what I got in store is going to be another part of my Magic the Gathering personal collection. And today, I'm going to be going through my last binder that I have, and that is this blue binder right here. Uh, I have said before, these are my favorite sort of uh, binder for storing cards. I really like how they're zippered in closure, really like the exterior of them, and I especially like this new one. These are the suede versions. I did do a review on this one pretty recently, so if you're interested in that, go ahead and check it out. This is the Ultra Pro Deck Builders Pro Binder, the four uh, the four column playset binder. Uh, by no way am I sponsored by them. I just just telling you I do like these binders. Anyways, inside of it, these are just a bunch of kind of older Magic the Gathering cards, just interesting cards and cards that I think are cool, and I wanted to put them in a binder. So let's just go through it and have some fun with it. I hope you're all doing wonderful today. It was extremely cold and windy today. Really starting to feel like winter. A bit of a whiteout the other day as well. So let's just go through this and have some fun with it. So um, I believe in the beginning of this binder, just uh, some revised cards and stuff like that. Uh, obviously right off the bat, such a classic iconic card right here. Got Sarah Angel just from revised. You can tell it's revised just because uh, the black line around the edge, it is a single border as opposed to like a double border right there. Uh, if, you, if you don't know how to tell revise and uh, unlimited apart, uh, I believe I did a video on that as well. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check that out. Anyways, these are all just revised cards. You got Sarah Angel, such iconic classic art right there by Douglas Schulter. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, got uh, Gia's Liege, got Swords to Plowshare, uh, such a classic card as well. One white instant target creatures removed from the game so you get to exile a creature creatures controller gains life points equal to that creature's power so you got to exile a creature for one white mana not destroy it uh exile it just completely get rid of it how crazy is that for one white mana such an iconic card got two of those in this binder right here i can slip it back in there got control magic a classic dark ritual right there one black mana to add three black mana to your mana pool such sweet art by sarah everingham Looks like a sorcerer casting some sort of spell of fire in some sort of crypt or dungeon or something like that. Got two millstones. Got myself Animate Dead. Great card for bringing a creature back from the graveyard. Got the rack. Got two basalt monoliths. It has tapped at three colors mana to your mana pool. It does not untap during your untap step. You have to pay three mana uh, to untap it. And uh, yeah, it creates three mana, but you got to pay three mana to untap it. So it's kind of cool and three mana to put out there. I'm going to have to move this binder around a bit. Uh, I got Crusade, a really great card right there. Two white, and it has all white creatures get plus one, plus one. That even means your opponents get it as well. It's kind of similar to Bad Moon, except for white creatures. Uh, Mark Poole drew it, very cool. Got three regrowths just randomly in there. Uh, I got a playset of Lightning Bolts, revised Lightning Bolts, absolutely fantastic. Such a classic, just three damage. Just three damage to one target. You want to damage a cr creature, an opponent's creature, your opponent. You want to damage yourself, you want to damage a Planeswalker, whatever can be dealt damage or can be a target, you can do this to it. One mana deals three damage, I mean, come on, it doesn't get much better than that. I don't think there's uh, another spell out there that does more damage for for the same amount of mana. I think this is the classic, original, just lightning bolt. Got the Ankh of Mishra, very cool, very Egyptian, deals two damage to anyone who puts a new land in play, very cool. Got Library of Lang. I uh, got two classic counter spells. You got the classic kind of wizard. His spell is fizzling out. He's got a look on his face like he's been beat. Interesting skull choker or whatever on him. Two blue mana counters target spell as it's being cast. Someone wants to cast a lightning bolt and you want to counter it? Go on ahead. I uh, got uh, the Howling Mine. Each player must draw one extra card during the draw phase of each of his or her turn. So very cool. Two mana and everyone draws an extra card. You draw an extra card and so does your opponent. Got some random eyes in the crypt right there. For whatever reason, that makes me think of Legends of the Hidden Temple, that kind of show, that interesting game show. Demonic Hordes, got two Winter Orbs for whatever reason. One of these is 4th uh, edition, I believe. Got two Soul Rings, absolutely classic from Revised. Beautiful card, love the art. Beautiful art by Mark Tennant. It's one mana that produces two mana. I mean, come on, one for two, uh, that's that's crazy. Tap to add two colorless mana to your mana pool. This ability is played as an interrupt. It produces colorless mana, though. If it produced mana of a color, that would be extremely overpowered, but that's pretty cool. One mana uh, that produces two colors mana right away. Uh, classic card. Uh, Devastation, great card from Starter. This is a beast of a card. Five and two red. It's a sorcery. Destroys all creatures and all lands. Just completely wipe the board of creatures and lands. Artifacts, uh, enchantments, planeswalkers, those are unaffected. But get rid of all creatures and all lands. Pretty much fresh start to the board. Very cool. Got Righteous Fury. Um, 
cool card as well. Destroy all tap creatures for each creature destroyed. This way you gain two life. And these are from the starter set. I really like the starter set. I don't know. For some reason, I just really like the starter star symbol right there. The starter rare is beautiful. Three and a white. Destroy all lands. And I just really like how the text... Uh, some areas are bolded. The What it does is in, like, in parentheses. I just really like this. Really great for new players. I think it's fantastic. The starter set. And you can see just a wasteland. Destroyed all the lands by Rob Alexander. Got that. Got Interpid Hero. Uh, destroy target creature. Power 4 or greater. Got two of those. Got Loyal Sentry. Uh, if it blocks, destroy it. And the creature it blocks. It's a 1-1 one, one for 1. Which just kills a creature. I think starter is just a, a wonderful set. Got 4, for whatever reason, Archangels right there. Got Dark Moor Sorcerer. Cool looking art right there. The Swamp Lady got a goblin or a zombie in the background. Five in a black. Its powers equal to the number of swamps you control. It's a, a zero four. Uh, so it can be whatever strength or whatever power, but its toughness is always four. It's interesting, but um, the card Nightmare is better. <laughs> got uh, some card right here. Got Denzin of the Deep. Very interesting card. Such a classic, iconic one. If you look up the starter booster packs, this is the guy in the starter booster pack cover right there. Just this giant sea monster just taking in a ship right there. Six and two blue. When Denzin of the Deep comes into play, return all other creatures you control from play to the owner's hands. It's an 11 11 for, uh, uh, what is that? Eight mana. It's an 11 11. And it's in Maddox. It's a beast of a creature. I mean, come on. That's a beast. You get that on the battlefield, your opponent's going to be scared. I have a couple, I think, unglued tokens right here. I just think they're a lot of fun. I really like the zombie ones. I do have a couple square ones as well. I think this is just so cool. Just beautiful tokens on the back of them. They are Magic the Gathering backs, which I always do like, instead of just, like, uh, random advertisement or something like that. Just funny art there. Looks like the soldier turned to a zombie. He's got something sticking out his arm. Just fun art. Christopher Rush. I think these are the un glued or one of the unseries you got the silver borders on it i also got a soldier a random sheep i'm not even sure what makes sheep tokens and then up here top i also have a random pegasus yeah <laughs> i'm not even sure what makes pegasus tokens right there and this side right here got uncle istavan i think this is a really cool card i just like the art and the feel of it it's got great flavor uh one and three black he's just like this guy Living in the forest with a crazy skull and an axe. You don't want to go into his property. Otherwise, you turn into that. All damage done to Uncle Istvan by creatures is reduced to zero. It's a 1-3, and this guy can't be hurt by creatures. If he wants to block Denzin of the Deep, the 11-11, and he, he survives. He's just a beast. I mean, come on. He's got a giant axe uh, by Daniel Gleon from the Dark. Got the moon symbol over here. You can barely see it, though. I do have a metal miniature of that from Heartbreaker Hobbies. Really cool to have that. Also got another card from the dark right here. A Nameless Race. I bought this online maybe like uh, half a year ago just because it reminds me of Avatar The Last Airbender. It's totally Zuko from that show. I mentioned this before, but I mean, come on. That's Zuko from Avatar The Last Airbender. And this is from the dark. This was made in 1994. So I definitely think that show took inspiration from this card right here. Very bizarre. And it's a it's an interesting card. It's a Summon Nameless Race. I don't think it has a creature type or anything like that. It's just a nameless race. Got some portal stuff right here. Destroy all lands. Got, what is this, Rofiello, Lanawar, Emissary. This is a great card right here. Two greens, an elf of legends, a 2-1 from Urza's. Uh, it has tap. Add one green mana to your mana pool for each force you control. How cool is that? You got five force on the battlefield. This thing's tapping for five green. That's impressive. Very great card, very great card, especially for elf tribal. Got Horn of Greed. Whenever a player plays a land, that player draws a card. Very cool. This is an interesting card here. Psychic Vortex. Uh, Communal Upkeep is an interesting uh, kind of ability. Uh, it kind of stacks on itself each turn. And this is such an interesting uh, community upkeep. Most community upkeeps, other than like one other card I can think of, usually you have to pay for it. But this community upkeep is you draw a card. So it actually gives you a card. But the downside is, at the end of each of your turns, sacrifice a land and discard your hand. So there's a huge downside to that. But I mean, if every turn you're drawing more and more cards, but you got to discard your hand and you got to sacrifice a land, I'm not sure how it would even out. But it's such an interesting card, and I feel like there's ways people can kind of get around this. Maybe in like some sort of like dredge deck or something like that. Actually, wow, that'd be... That'd be crazy, because you get to draw a card, and then you get to fill up your graveyard as well. 
so you can dredge and then also put in more cards in your graveyard. That's that's crazy. Maybe that's where it would be a star. Got Goblin Bombardment. Interesting card. It says sacrifice a creature. Goblin Bombardment deals one damage to target creature or player. Great for like some sort of deck. Got a Legends, a Craw Giant. Trample, Rampage shoots a 6-4 for 3 and 4 green. Just a big old beast. He's made of stone. Got Baron Sengar from uh, Homelands. Such a well-played card. Like, look at that. So well played. But cool card. Super iconic. Summon Legend. 5 and 3 black. Flying whenever creatures put into a graveyard with the same. Turn Baron Sengar. Damage it. Put a 2-2. Two, two, a plus 2 plus 2 counter on it. And uh, yeah. And he can regenerate other vampires. He's uh, he's cool. He's a 5-5 five, five with flying. And when he kills a creature. He gets plus 2 plus 2. And he can keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And he can regenerate himself or another vampire. I believe he's considered a vampire. I could be wrong though. I have to check the ruling. I uh, got Marble Titan, you got Tracker. Uh, this is an interesting card. It kind of shuts down the battle for the bit. Creatures with power 3 or greater do not untap during the control's untap phase. Tracker from the Dark. Cool card right there. What do we got going on over here? Some other random cards from the Dark. Got Dark Sphere. It's a zero cost artifact. Uh, attack, uh, sacrifice it to prevent half the damage done to you by a single source around it down. Crazy art. Got these hooded figures around this sphere of wood, it looks like. Got this card called Amnesia. Um, I just have this in there because it's from the dark. I mean, come on, look at that art, too. He's, like, got no brain. He's got a hole in his brain, got needles in his neck. He's got a Mark Poole tattoo because he loves Mark Poole. Very bizarre. Three and three blue. Look at target player's hand. Target player discards all non-land cards uh, in his or her hand. So you get a peek at their hand, and then they get to discard all non-land cards in it. I guess you look at their hand just so you know that they're not cheating. And be like, oh, I discarded everything, but I have two land cards. Like, you just... I guess that's why. Got the cleansing card. This is in here from it's from the dark, and I just think it's a lovely art. I love the art on it. Beautiful. Love the orange sort of trees. Okay, the mounds keep in the background. All lands are destroyed. Player may uh, prevent cleansing from destroying, uh, sacrificing uh, for destroying specific lands by paying one life for each land. They wish to protect, and then you can't lose that. You can't prevent that loss of life. Got hidden path. Got the horror uh, from alliances. What is this? Sustaining spirit, cumulative upkeep for one and a white. Any damage that will be reduced should life total less than one. Instead, it reduces it to one, so it just keeps you alive from damage. Uh, Crozerin falls during your upkeep. Tap target, untap creature you control or bury it. No creatures can attack you unless its controller plays an additional two whenever that creature attacks. So just really great for blocking off uh, the board a bit. Uh, reality twist. Interesting card here from Ice Age. Kind of crazy looking art, just like a checkerboard. Looks like a checker piece or something like that. You got a wizard and somebody and they're in space, kind of like my background. Three blue. Cumulative upkeep for one and two blue, but instead of, and it's, it just kind of flips around mana costs. Instead of their normal mana, plains produce red, swamps produce green, mountains produce white, and forests produce black. Nothing is as it seems. So it just really makes mana. <laughs> it's flipped around, kind of interesting. Uh, Ashnod's Altar, great sacrifice outlet. Uh, Winds of Change. This is an interesting card. I feel like... This game is a very powerful card. One red mana for a sorcery. All players shuffle their hands into their libraries and draw the same number of cards they originally held. I think that's cool. It's like uh, like mulligan sort of, but you you draw the same amount of cards. Very cool ability, but you both do it. Got Narwhal. Summon Narwhals. First strike protection from red. Yep. Magic the Gathering has Narwhals. I think the only one. A random summon legend from legend. I just think it's cool. These old legend cards. Love the borders. Three, a two black and a blue. Ramirez de Petro. A pirate lady with a smile. With first strike. It's a 4-3. 1994. Phil Fuligo. All right. What we got over here? I got two Nicol Boluses from Chronicles. I do have a uh, Nicol Bolus from Legends, but it is... An Italian one. Just a classic art. Look at these mana costs, though. Two. Two blue. Two black. Two red. I mean, come on. That's a beast. And during your upkeep, you got to play uh, blue, black, and red, or you bury it. It's a 7-7 seven, seven with flying. Whenever it deals uh, damages an opponent, that opponent discards his or her entire hand. Ignore the ability if no, if no cards left in hand. So, I mean, he's a beast, but come on. Two, four, six, eight. Uh, so much mana to put out there and so many colors but when you get it out there he's 7-7 seven, seven with flying and when he deals damage to your opponent they got to discard their hand i mean that's kind of crazy got another elder dragon i have this iridescent angel from odyssey in here just because i feel like this is a beautiful card really not worth a whole lot but i just think it's beautiful beautiful five a white and a blue flying protection from all colors it's a four four beautiful art by matt cavota 
then I just have some random multicolor cards. Um, if I can get this back in here from just uh, Visions, Mirage, Visions. Yeah, like Vashivan Dragon. Got Wellsprings. Very interesting card right here. Got zebras on it. Beautiful art. One, a green and a white. When it comes to the plate, gain control of Enchanted Land. At the end of turn, each of your turns lose control of Enchanted Land. At the beginning of each of your turns, gain control of Enchanted Land. So I think you can gain control of your opponent's land. But then like kind of flips in and out of your possession. Got the Holy Avenger. Got Righteous War. Check out the art on this one. Just some of this art is fantastic. Good versus evil. Light versus dark. You got some crazy green gargoyle creature fighting this angel. Got the black sky against the yellow sky. Beautiful offset of like the sun right there. One, a white and a black. All white creatures gain. Uh, you control gain protection for black. All black creatures you control gain protection from white. White is protection from black. Black is protection from white. Very interesting card. Uh, this is a war without uh, neutrality. Cool. By Ian Miller. Very interesting card. Very interesting card. The art of it. Got Pygmy Hippo. I mean, come on. It's a baby hippo. Uh, green and a blue. Beautiful card. <laughs> By Steve White. Fantastic. Ephemeral Enchantress. Some card draw, I believe. Uh, corrosion. Corrosion. Uh, Breaststalker's Crypt. Just like, I love the art of these older cards right here. Visions. Fantastic. Whenever a player draws a card, he or she reveals the card. If that card is a creature card, that player pays three life or discards a card. So it kind of makes people not want to play creature cards or have them in their hand. Other cards right here got Energy Bolt, got Reparations. Whenever target opponent successfully casts a spell that targets you or creature you control, you may draw a card. So if people are targeting you, you draw some cards. Circle of Despair, got Miser's Cage, just poor guy from Mirage in some sort of little cage right there. The end of target opponent's upkeep. That player has five or more cards in hand. Deals two damage to him or her. Some sort of like black vice sort of thing. Got Mystic Decree. Got Chain Stasis. Pyrexian Tribute. Um, got, uh, what is this called? Some sort of dragon. This is a promo. You could only get it like Dragon Con or something. Then they put it in a magazine, I think. Uh, Nalathan Dragon. Two and two red. There's some sort of like symbol for the Dragon Con or Dragon Quest. I don't know. Got Flying and Bandings. And it's got red. You can pump it up. You can't pay more than three. It's a 1-1 one, one with flying for four mana. But you can pump it up. And it's got banding. Would you look at that? Interesting card there. Uh, some Italian spirit card right here. Got Eye of Singularity. When it comes into play, bury all permanents with the same name. Except basic lands. Whenever any permanents other than basic lands come into play, bury any permanents already in play with the same name as it. Someone's playing a Relentless Rat deck. Man, this just puts it on hold. Withering Boon. Interesting card right here. It's kind of like a black counter spell. One in a black. It's an interrupt, but you also got to pay three life. and encounters target summon spell. Play this with Dash Hope or something. Really just mess up the game. Put that in a sideboard or something. Very interesting card. Bounty of the Hunt. I put this in here mostly just because um, deers are cool. And I love the art. Alliances, beautiful deer. And you can play this, I think, um, by removing a green card from your hand. Kind of like Force of Will. I think that's the green version of Force of Will. Or like uh, equivalent. Got Ritual of the Machine. Uh, what is this? I can't really see that from there. Earth. Earthquake? What does that say? Equipose. Two and a white during your upkeep for each land. Target player controls an excess of number of lands. You control. Uh, target land or you should control phases out. Repeat this process for artifact and uh, then for creatures. So you can make your opponent stuff phase out. Got Mudslide. Iconic Didgeridoo from Homelands. Your Minotaur tribal deck. The art perfectly represents it. He's playing the Didgeridoo, calling the Minotaur one mana. You pay three mana. Take a Minotaur from your hand, put it directly into play as though it just summons. So pretty much you can play any Minotaur for three mana. Very cool. Melissa Benson drew it. Very cool. Very interesting card. Got Bushwaga. I got this in here just because... What's a Bushwaga? It's like a ball. It's like a ball creature. It looks like a cat, human hybrid, porcupine hybrid, um, hay bale. I don't even know. Very interesting art by Ian Miller. If it's blocked or blocked, if it's blocks or blocked, it gets negative two plus two till end of turn. Some interesting form of Bushido. It's a one and two green. Yeah, interesting. Uh, Leonin War uh, Leader. I actually opened this up on like some sort of Friday Night Magic or something like that. I don't know some M nineteen. Um, Draft night, I think. Release day. Temporary truce. Uh, reconnaissance. 
Really great uncommon right here. One white, and you can remove target attacking creature you control from combat and untap it. So if you're attacking and you notice it's blocked and it's going to die, you can just stop it. Great card right here. Beautiful art, by the way. Beautiful art. They're getting their information, deciding whether to attack or not, and it's all right. They can do either. By Val Melkry. Uh, Forsaken Wastes, uh, Random Island, I opened up on this channel, just crazy full art islands, I don't really have many of these, I think this is my only one. It just doesn't even look real, it looks like a sticker's on the card. Got Hydra Blast, classic card from Ice Age. Uh, got these Scaled Worms, or Spined Worms, I opened these up in some like uh, packs on this channel actually. Some sort of promo pack, they're different because uh, the date on the bottom is different. It's not 4th or 5th edition, it's a promo card. Yeah. Kind of interesting. Uh, Tolarian Enchantress, uh, Renewing Dawn, Infernal Tribute, uh, Sacrifice a Card in Play, uh, Draw a Card, Sacrifice Outlet, and a Draw a Card Outlet. Apocalypse Chime, if you're playing against a Homeland specific deck, this will just put it on hold because what does it do? Two mana, two tap, Sacrifice Apocalypse Chime, bury all cards from the Homeland's expansion. These are interesting cards right here just because. It just kills all cards from a Homeland expansion. Imagine if they came out a card like that nowadays. It said, bury all cards or destroy all cards or exile all cards from uh, Throne of Eldraine. I mean, come on. That would be really cool. And I wish that they did something like that. Dwarven Pony, Cockatrice. I mean, look at this. This is just fun. Snake, Chicken, Lizard, Hybrid. And it's got some sort of crazy death touch. 2 forward Dan Fraser, Classic art. This is like Time Spiral, I believe. Some random bear stuff. Uh, Joven's ferrets. I only have this in there because it's a ferret. How cool is that? Uh, random bears uh, from some of the portal sets right there. Got golden bear, bear cub, Timurin fiends. Let's start again. I got two library langs again. I had one in revised. Uh, jeweled amulet. Uh, Jabari's banner. It gives a creature flanking. I think that's cool. This is an interesting card right here. Um, it's one mana artifact and has tap to bury target at permanent you own. One mana, and it can just bury permanents you own. I don't know if you want to fill up your graveyard or something like that, but this can just do it very easily. Uh, I feel like there's something to be done with that. Uh, got Ball Lightning, Autumn Willow, uh, four Serrated Arrows from Homelands. One of these is actually really beat up in the edge right there. Super tiny text, just Serrated Arrows. Very cool. Um... Fire Diamond, Yavamaya Ants. Cool art right here from Alliances. Uh, Trample could be upkeep 2 green. You can attack the turn. It comes into play on your side. It's so a 5-1 for 4 mana. It can attack right away. Bunch of ants. Look at that crazy spine thing by Pat Morsley. Got Coffin Queen. Brutal looking card. Uh, Altar of Dementia. Nemesis of Reason. Spawnshire of Ulamog. Randomly newer cards in here. Just Rise of the Eldrazi, I believe, 10 mana. It's got Annihilator 1. You pay 4. Put two zero one colors Eldrazi spawn creature tokens on the battlefield. They have uh, Sacrifice this creature at 1 tier mana pool. And it has 20. Cast n any number of Eldrazi cards you own from outside the game without paying their mana cost. It's a 7 11. If you paid it's like ultimate, it's 20. You, you probably won the game because in your sideboard you probably have all the Eldrazi you, ha you want. Crazy card right there. Um, what do we got right here? Got the Mind's Cage right here. Four and three blue. All creatures get negative X number zero. Or X is the number of cards in your hand. So the more cards in your hands, the less power all creatures have. Random changeling. Creepy looking art. Look at this guy. He's like in a graveyard right there. Super creepy. Very bizarre. Very bizarre. Got Veilstone Amulet. I really like the set symbol right here. Whenever you play a spell, creatures you control can't be targeted of spells or abilities you're probably control this turn. Interesting kind of protective thing. Uh, Gears Reach uh, Sanitarium. Great for drawing cards and discarding your cards. Uh, very cool. Got Westfell Abbey. Classic card. It turns into a giant beast. A 9-7 flying light think indestructibility in haste. I mean, come on. It's a land that turns into a huge flyer. Put this in your land only deck. Got Earthly Harvest over here. Krenko, Mob Boss. Turn this up just a little bit. Uh, leeches. Target player loses all poison counters. It deals one damage to that player for each poison counter removed this, in this way. Uh, cool. 
Uh, Brainstorm, classic card. Energy Storm, Wall of Glare. It can block any number of creatures in combat. The Shield Sphere, I had a playset of these in another video. I guess I had an extra one. Zero cost artifact, that's a zero six. Enough said, very cool. Uh, Tormod's Crypt, zero cost artifact, sacrifice it to remove all cards and target player graveyards from the game. Got Greed, Goblin King, all goblins gain Mountain Walk and plus one, plus one. Just a wonderful cards like Zombie Master, but for goblins, this is from a fifth, no, fourth edition. Doesn't look like a goblin, just looks like a creep. Got Pyroblast over here next to it. What do we got over here? Got uh, some Sarah Avery. All creatures of flying get plus one, plus one for three and a white. Heart of Yavamai. Interesting card right here. I feel like there's something to be done with this, and I really do like the art. I think it's beautiful. It's like a living heart in the forest or something. Comes into play, sacrifice a forest or bury it. So it's got a steep come into play cost. It adds green mana to your mana pool, so it makes color, which is good. And it gives tap target creature gets plus one, plus one to land of turn. Just Straight up, give it plus one, plus one till end of turn. That's cool. By Pete Ventures. I think there's something to be done with that card. Crystal Vein, uh, Sanctuary Cat. I think I have this in here just because I like cats and it's a foil. I think Darker Sensen, beautiful. Living in the Sanctuary. Got Glory. This is an interesting card right here because um, you can play this from your graveyard, sort of. It doesn't have flashback, but it has, if you pay two and a white, creatures you control gain protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. Play this uh, ability only if Glory is in your graveyard. So you pretty much want this in your graveyard, and then if you're getting attacked, if someone's lightning bolting your creatures or something like that, you can pay two and a white and say red, and give protection for red. Very interesting. From Judgment, you got some Odyssey card right here. Sundial is infinite. I actually opened this up on this channel. Some of these I have. I opened this up on the channel. I think I opened up all these ones on here. Crazy card right here. Two mana. It is one tap, end the turn. Activate this ability only during your turn. You end the turn. I mean, that's bizarre. Crazy ability. Something to be done with that. Uh, Polymorph, Zoologist, uh, Madras' Tome. Some random old four Ring of Gix. It's got Echo, Tap, or uh, Tap Target, Artifact, Creature, Land. It's got Echo, though. We've got Junk Diver. Got five of them. Uh, Divine Sacrament. White creatures get plus one, plus one. It has Threshold. Uh, give an additional plus one, plus one. Very cool. Nomads, uh, Myth Maker, bunch of other cards right here. Let's see if I can turn, tilt this up just a bit. Got Bedlam, got uh, Creatures Cannot Block. That's pretty powerful if you have a bunch of heavy creatures on the battlefield. Overmaster, Elvish, Vanguard, got Mana Maze. Interesting ability right here for this card. One and a blue. Players cannot play spells that share color with the spell last played this turn. So if someone played a blue spell, they can't play another blue spell. So... It kind of shuts them off to certain combos and stuff like that. Got Storage Matrix. Beautiful card. I just love older artifacts and stuff. Uh, remove Soul from Legends. Just a random Legends. One in a blue. Counter Target Summon Spell. Sky Shroud Prouch, Proucher. Uh, Ron Spencer. Uh, very interesting card. Great for Elves. It's 2 and 2 green. It's a Rebel. I wish it was an Elf. It's a 2-2, two, two, but it has 3 tap. Search your library for an Elf card. Put that card into play. Then shuffle your library. It's okay, they're just elves. But I mean, come on, you just take any elf from your library, put into play for three mana? That's pretty crazy. Some snow-covered mountains, uh, snow-covered forest, random snow-covered island, another Sarah Angel, Dingus Egg, Wolverine Pack, just because it's Wolverine, random bear token from Onslaught the Promo, Urza the Mine, Urza Power Plant, random Mercadian Mass, small little booklet. I'm not really sure where you got these. I just thought it was interesting. It's like a tiny little booklet with just a little bit of like story and lore in it. Cool art. So I just thought it was cool. Kind of put it in a little sleeve and put it in here just because it's interesting. And this is a binder for it. I'll just put this back in here. And it's very thin, so I thought it would fit in there perfectly. Okay. Let's see what else we got. <clears throat> then it looks like I got um, other cards here. I got Master Core, very interesting card. Got Fire Sprites from Legends, some Alliances. And then I think I just have some dark cards right here. A uh, Scarwood Goblins, Dark Heart of the Wood, Sacrifice a Force, Gain 3 Life. Counts as both a black and a green card. They had to let you know that this counted both as a black and a green card because back in the day, I think Dark maybe was the first set with multicolor cards. I could be wrong though. Got Goblin Shrine, Goblin Digging Team, Goblins of the Flog, Fire Drake. Beautiful art right here. 
you love the blue to the red. It's just as Drake breathing fire into the volcano pit. Flying. Uh, it's got flying. You give it plus one, plus zero till end of turn. No more than one red may be spent this way each turn. So it can only become a 2-2. Two -two, but I mean, whatever. I wish you could pop it up more. Got some elf scavenging folk. Land leeches over here. Carnivorous plant. Tilt this up just a little bit more. Uh, Venom. Got squire. Fire and brimstone. Just let's look at this R right here. Older cards are cool. Three and two white. Fire and brimstone deals four damage to target player and four damage to you. Can only be used during turn in which target player has declared an attack. It's an instant with some specifications. Uh, got a whole bunch of goblins coming up against you. Play this card right here. One and two white. All goblins are destroyed. Gone. Got pikemen. Got fasting. Got Dust to Dust, got um, uh, Miracle Worker, for whatever reason I have a whole bunch of those. Got Morale, got a bunch of those. I guess just more common cards. Um, got Holy Light up here, Angry Mob, Trampled during your uh, during your turn. The S is below are equal to the number of total swamps and opponent controls during any other player's turn uh, that equals zero. So if your opponent has a bunch of swamps, it's stronger. If not, you're out of luck. Brainwashed, got marsh gas, cool looking R right here. All creatures get negative two, negative zero until end of turn. Instant speed for one black by Douglas Shoulder. Beautiful. Oop. Got Inquisition over here, creepy looking art. Uh, bog rats, got bog imp. One in a black for summon imp with flying by Ron Spencer. Beautiful art, my favorite artist. Super creepy art, bloody feet, and he's eating a fish. Crazy looking thing. On guard for large dangers, we underestimate the power and speed of the Imp Monk's Crusted Claws. Gross. Word of Bindings, Ashes to Ashes, uh, Cursed Artifact. This is crazy looking art right here. Crazy. Got Deep Water. Got the Shark. The Shark and the Shark Friend over here. These Sharks from the Dark. Look at that. Just Giant Shark. Great White Shark coming at you. Deep Waters. Oop, wrong side. What do we got over here? Got Riptide, Giant Shark, Erosion, Drowned, Sunken City, Ghost Ship. Cool looking art right there. And then um, some more Ghost Ships. Uh, water Worm. Uh, living Armor, Bone Flutes, Standing Stones. I actually opened this up on this channel in a magazine. I got a magazine came with a random card from the dark. No, wait. That's not the card. This was the card. This was the random card I got. From that magazine, Tower of Coryal. Cool. Got Book of Rass, Rune Sword, and then over here is some unlimited cards, some random unlimited cards. Um, got like Gia's Liege right here. Actually, I have one of these in revised. You can tell it's unlimited because of the double sort of like border along the edge right here. This card is pretty beat up. This kind of deer guy right there. Just some random unlimited cards. Got Wall of Wood, Psychic Venom, Planes. Iron Star, Wooden Sphere, Circuit Protection White, Death Ward, Death Ward, Green Ward, Random Pure Lace. I have no idea where I got this. A lot of these cards I'm not really remember where I got them. <laughs> uh, fire Breathing. Got Flight. Got Semi Healer, Drain Life. Then I have some older cards. These two are Beta. I have Circular Protection White and then Grey Ogre. Gray Ogre right here, the beta cards, and then all uh, the rest of the cards in this binder are some alpha cards that I've been starting to collect. Uh, like Guardian Angel, most of these are just commons and uncommons. Uh, Cirque Protection Blue, Gray Ogre. I did do a video the other day on how to tell the difference between alpha and beta cards. Just real quick, uh, the difference is in the edges. You can see alpha cards are way more rounded edges, beta cards are way uh, they're the they're the normal shape edges. You can totally tell alpha on top, beta or beta on top, alpha on the bottom. The alpha edge is way more rounded. Just uh, I think it's cool just to collect some alpha cards, just because it's where Magic the Gathering came from, and I feel like it's an important time. And it's it's cool to document it and just get some of these cards. Guardian Angels, Circle Protection, uh, Blue, Gray Ogres, Holy Strength. Got some Jump. Got some Holy Armor. What is this over here? Can't really see. Uh, got Tranquility. All enchantments in play must be discarded. Two and a green. Just destroy all enchantments. Wall of Wood, Stream of Life, beautiful card by Ron Spencer. Got the gecko on the rock right there. This one is very off center, way shifted to the right. Target player gains X life. Got the Craw Worm, classic, just beast of a card. Hard to even read the text a little bit right there. It's a 6 4. 4 and 2 green. 
Beast of a Crawl Worm. Got another Death Ward. Got Black Ward. Apparelled Unicorn, Mesa Pegasus, Fire Breathing, Classic Mons Goblin Raiders. And um, got Howl from Beyond. Turn tilt this up just a little bit. Keeps keeps slipping down. Got Fears, got Phantasmal Terrains, got Spell Blast. X in a blue target spell is countered. X is the cost of target spell. So whatever that cost is, you can pay mana for it. Power Leak, uh, Classic Miracle of the Pro Trident, Channel and Drives. One of the cards that got me into this game actually got two of them. Just uh, Scathe Zombies, original uh, zombie from Alpha. Scathe Zombies, how fantastic is that? Uh, Raise Dead. Then I got over here. Got like uh, Soul Net, uh, Throne of Bone. What is this? Uh, the Celestial Prism. Very interesting card. Such simplistic R right there. Three mana, two, provide one mana of any color. This can be played as an interrupt. You got the mono artifact, and then some of these are poly artifacts. Let's just pull that out. Yeah, so this one is a mono artifact. You can see it says right there, mono artifact, and then poly artifact. Mono means one, so you can only use it one time per turn. Poly is like many, so it means you can use it as many times as you want per turn. Like throwing a bone is one, uh, then you can pay one. Any black spell uh, cast by a player gives you one life, so you can gain life for black spells. But this one, you can only do it once time per turn. So just, I believe back in the day, that was a rule. Uh, mono artifact, you can only use once. Poly artifact, you can only use, you can use as many times as you want. Got Iron Root Tree Folk, got Lance, a Red Ward, and then randomly, my last card is Tunnel. Then I have a small little pamphlet in here. I have a couple of these. I opened them up in a collection. I think it's like revised or something like that. I just thought I'd put it in there because why not? So that is uh, my binder, my last binder that I have, just full of a whole bunch of older cards right here, just interesting cards, uh, just some revised, uh, some starters, some older stuff, uh, some random multicolor cards, revisions, mirage, stuff like that, just cards I, I'm, I'm interested in, I think they're cool, I just like the art on them, I just kind of put a whole bunch of them in here, and uh, at the end of it, just like a whole bunch of kind of older cards got from the dark, a couple from the legends, some unlimited a uh, couple beta, just two beta, and then some alpha cards that I've been starting to collect. Just because it's cool to check out the history of Magic the Gathering. You really know where it came from. Anyways, that is my last little binder that I have. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, my next uh, video of my personal collection, I've probably been going through uh, this big old Kakapopo TCG uh, metal briefcase. I'm going to probably be opening up and just checking that out with you all. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. I just want to say thanks for stopping by. Stay positive and have a beautiful, wonderful day. Stay warm out there, it's starting to get real cold, and I'll catch you all in the next one.